Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of vector algebra. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let A and B be the two vectors such that magnitude of A is 1, magnitude of B is 4, and dot product of A and B is 2. The question further tells us if vector C is given to us as 2A cross B, so cross product of 2A and B vector minus 3B, and the angle between B and C vector it's given to us is alpha. Then the question is further asking to figure out the value of 192 sine square alpha. So we need to figure out the value for this. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been presented here, the options are 16, 32, 48, 64. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question and find the correct answer for this. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you, but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. So you understand them in a better way. Let's see how to solve this question further. So if I want to solve this question, I have been given C vector is equals to the cross product of 2A and B. And minus it is given to us 3B. So we have this with us. Now if I find, let's say if I multiply this with the dot product of vector B, the entire thing. So this entire thing also gets multiplied. So this cross product of 2A and B having a dot product with B and this becomes dot product of two vectors of B. So from here I get this becomes a scalar triple product. So it becomes 2A B B vector minus this becomes 3 and vector B into vector B basically we know it's mod of B square. So basically dot product of B and C, I get this is, since in a scalar triple product, if two vectors are same, we know the scalar triple product of that becomes equals to zero. So this entire thing becomes equals to zero minus three magnitude of B square. So dot product of B and C, if I apply the idea, I know magnitude of B into magnitude of C into cos and the angle between B and C is given to me as alpha. So B into C cos alpha equals minus three. And this magnitude of B I have been given in the question and that tells me magnitude of B is 4. So from there I get this becoming 4 square. So if I write it further I can write this magnitude of C cos alpha. So I'm taking this magnitude of B on the other side gives me minus 3 into 4 square divided by magnitude of B which is 4 again. So 1, 4 gets cancelled and you get minus 3 into 4, which is minus 2. So from here, you get magnitude of C cos alpha equals minus 2. So we have this first idea. Now further, if I try to solve this, let's see what I get. So if I'm trying to solve this idea further, I can use the other idea also, which is given to me, which says dot product of vector A and B equals to 2. And let's say, the angle between A and B is theta. So if I have the dot product of that, I get magnitude of A into magnitude of B cos theta is equal to 2. Magnitude of A is given to me 1. Magnitude of B is 4. So cos theta equals to 2. So cos theta in this case would become 2 over 4, which is half. And when cos theta becomes half, that happens for cos of 60, which is cos of pi over 3. So once I get that, from there I get the angle theta as pi over 3. So you get the angle basically becoming 60 degrees there. Now once I have that with me, further if I try to solve the question, it says vector C is equal to. So we have been given vector C is equal to 2A cross product of that with B minus 3B. 
So I have to find the mod of this if I have to find the mod of C the whole square. So if I want to find the mod of C square here, what I get from here is mod of the cross product of 2a into b minus 3b, whatever is the mod, the whole square of that. So if I put these values, let's say, so 2, I get this is magnitude of a, magnitude of b, sine theta, because we know the angle between a and b is theta, we have kept that, minus 3 into mod of b square. So basically what I get is square root of this 2 mod of a mod of b sin theta squared plus this 3 into vector b in the mod so squared. So you get this. Now further if I try to solve this, I get 2 mod of a and mod of b. I know already the magnitudes of a and b were given to me in the question only. Let's see. So mod of a was... 1 and mod of b was given to us as 4. So magnitude of a and b, we know it is already 1 and 4. So if I put it here, I get this. This is 1, this is 4. Sine of theta, theta means 60 degrees, sine pi by 3, which is sine 60, which is root 3 over 2. The whole thing of this, it's squared. Plus 3 times mod of b squared. So 3 times, I can write this is 9. And mod of b square means mod of b is 4, so 4 square, which is 16. So I get this. Further, if I try to solve this, I get square root of this and this gets cancelled. 4 root 3 square, so 16 into 3, 48 plus 144, which is 192. So square root of 192 becomes the answer for mod of c square. And it wouldn't be square root of this because... We know square root of this gives you mod of c. But we want to find mod of c square. So if I want to find mod of c square, I'll just take square of this square root, which should be 192. So that is the idea for mod of c square. And from the previous expression, we had understood one idea. So mod of c cos alpha is minus 12. So from here, I can write mod of c square. If I square it, cos square alpha equals 144. Mod of c square, we just figured out it's 192. Cos square alpha equals 144. So I got 192 cos square alpha equals 144. So if I use that, let's see what I get. So we got 192 cos square alpha equals 144. So I can write this cos square theta using the identity as 1 minus sine square theta. So I get from here 192 minus 192 sine square alpha equals 144. So I get 192 minus 144 equals 192 sine square alpha. And you get 192 sine square alpha equals 192 minus 144, which is 48. So I get this value for 192 sine square alpha. And that turns out to become 48. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option C. So C becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on the vectors. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, Please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on GWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions that we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.